Morning, my loves. How are we? Hope you're all well. Keeping safe. Morning from the curtains. <laughs> now, oh, we're on. Perfect. Lauren, first out of the blocks today. Morning, my love. Uh, I've got a couple of things to do here. I just want to say a couple of um, uh, ha happy birthday. A couple of happy birthdays. I had one down here as well. Who was that? Uh, now, Laura, uh, no, Leah. Here we are on the other device. Get me. Leah, she's 11 today. Good uh, morning and happy birthday to you, Leah. Absolutely marvellous. Loving that. 11. It's terrific. Now, um, Oh, and Sarah, your birthday was yesterday and a wedding anniversary were yesterday. 24 years of the best. Well, Sarah, uh, happy birthday and happy anniversary for yesterday. It's my anniversary yesterday as well. How about that? Not as long as you, though. You've got some stamina. I can do it. Um, now, uh, we've got uh, Charleston today. Julian morning, Amy morning, Deborah morning. Uh, Sarah, morning. Thomas, morning. Hannah, I'm sure it's not the wife. Oh no, it's not my wife. Um, uh, Frankie, good morning. And uh, Katie, lovely, lovely morning. Now, Charleston, Charleston choosing. Now, I don't know if you were listening to Chris Evans this morning, but I, um, I had a little chat with him this morning, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who joins us on this 11 o'clock. Uh, class and even the three o'clock class because we were talking about it this morning. I just want to say huge thank you because this is only fun and works because you're all tuned in. So bless you all. I love you all. Thank you very much indeed. We're going to do some Charleston and um, we're going to talk about swivels because it seems to it's creating quite consternation the old swivel malarkey. So we're going to do this now. There's lots of variations in Charleston that uh, have um, meanings behind them. Things like um, drying my nails where the girls go one two it's a sort of drying your nose you've just painted your nails and you're drying your nails this sort of thing for the girls now uh we'll do a load of those but today we're going to focus on uh just the swivels so now i, I want you just to do this i want you to go like this stand on the balls of your feet knees bent and i want you just to do this and it's not just feet it's knees as well the whole lot go it's easier if you just don't if you let the whole lot go one and two and if you do it on the bended knee the bended knee, as opposed to the straight knee. Oh, heavens above, look at the state of that. It's like some small bird is just living in my hair. So here we go, and a one, and two, and three, and just keep going with, I'm gonna turn around this side, and you can let you go like this. One, two, a one, a two. This is the swivel, that's all you need. That's all the swivel you need, like that. Oh, it's good for the old buns, isn't it? and keep going, and a one, a two, a one, a two. Now, try not to fall out of balance like that, of course. Now, the step pattern, I'm going to do it without the swivel, is step, well, this is a version of it. So you go step, tap, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. You can do this on either foot. You swing the arms across, palms are normally facing up, but this one, and already, with it, even without the swivel, it sort of looks a bit Charleston-y, doesn't it? Thank you. One, two, one, two. And if I add the Charleston as well, swivel, now it looks like the Charleston. Now it becomes the Charleston. Now this step pattern, you can do anything you like. You can go in a straight line if you want to. One, two, three. I, I'm sure you know what walking in a straight line means, but I'm going to demonstrate it anyway. Here we go, ready? Just this, walk, I'm on my balls of my feet, because that's how you're gonna do it, when you add the swivel. So you go and swivel, 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 swivel. Now these uh, walks, when you're walking forwards with the swivels, you're normally, if you're not gonna do either, you probably just won't do it like this. You can do it, it's up to you, it's your dancing. You, but you would probably go low arm swing, or, a high arm swing, yum, d. but then you'd let the hands go. You start to sort of shape the hands and decorate the hands as well. So, at the, what, right now we're just gonna focus on swimming because all those things are just variations of the same thing. Um, and we're gonna do just this basic one. Step, tap, 
step, tap, because I want you to get used to doing it forwards and backwards, although that was backwards and forwards. All right, there's the step. Now we're going to do swivels, ready? Swivel, 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 and feel like the accent of the swivel is out, 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 out. Yum, 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 yum. And it's going to be a little bounce as well. So you have dum, bum, ba, dum, bum, see how I'm bouncing as well as swiveling. Now the difficult thing on this uh, step is to swivel and step. <sighs> this isn't too bad. This is actually very satisfactory. I can manage this, I feel very relaxed doing this. And invariably, certainly on Strictly Come Dancing, this is essentially what we end up with. Now we want to add the two together. So we go swivel, swivel, like this. And we add the steps in now, we go swivel. See, one, just do one step, we're gonna do this as an exercise. Swivel, 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 and step. And I'm gonna go, and step. So the f in, do this. Make the accent in, 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 in. So before we were going out, 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 out. Exactly the same step, we just, when we talk about accents, we're just talking about that, the bit we hit, hit, hit. I want you to hit the end bit this time. Hit, 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 as though you're clicking your heels together. You're not gonna be, because you fit me too far apart. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna do that with a step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How about that? One, two, three, four. Hoo -hoo! Now do that again, take two steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. I know. Chris, if you're watching, I know. Probably have to do this in your socks if you haven't got the dancing shoes on. Bit more difficult to swivel in your trainers. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, tap, three, tap. One, tap, three, tap. One, tap, three, tap. One, tap, three, tap. Now, of course, that you perfected it on the right step forward first. We're now going to do the same thing with the left foot stepping forward first. Why? Why? Isn't one side enough? Sadly not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Got that? No swivel. Swivel bit remains the same. We're just on the other foot. So we go, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, question somebody asked me the other day. That's the basic swivel with a step tap variation. We've also done it walking forwards. You can do it walking backwards as well. Like this. Let me do this one. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. You might find it's actually a bit easier doing it in a straight line or, or doing a series of more moving forwards and backwards. If that's the case, do it like that to practice. And then, start, then we can start putting variations together once you've got the knack of the swivel bit. Now, somebody asked me recently um, online whether the knees are apart. So do we swivel from the hip? Like, does it, the leg swing from the hip? Or is it only from the knees? Well, the, the sort of authentic 20s swivel, right there in 1910, that down that time, right at the beginning of the last century, the knees were together. It was this. This is much later. This is a much more fashionable thing. Oh, I've got a small, ch oh, Georgie, come and join us. Come and join us. You're coming in? No. No, you're not coming in. You've changed your mind. Well, there's, <laughs> Oh, his little George came and put his head around the door and decided he got stage fright. <laughs> He's so much more like me. Stage fright, he gets nervous. Um, now, what was I talking about? 
<laughs> gorgeous. Now we're, oh yes, the swiveling from the knees. Now, or the, the leg lift from the knee. The knees work back, if you can think about it, back in the days of the, of the Charleston, in the 1920s really, uh, in that time. Uh, if you picture it in your mind, thoroughly modern Millie, etc., etc., all that sort of style, girls in the flapper dresses, etc., um, the, 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 everything would have been done down here. Huh? Beep that, but all quite low for that, deep, done. It's much later in sort of exhibition Charleston's that we're doing sort of now, where everything starts to, to get a little bit big, bigger, rump, bump, but, but then that sort of influence of Lindy. So you have an influence of Lindy coming into Charleston, creating a sort of a new dance, a sort of an exhibition style dance, really. It's a bit like Argentine tango. The authentic one is much sort of lower and sort of dancing together and the, the sort of exhibition modern ones, all big sort of girls are up here and this, all this sort of stuff. So, but to be honest with you, either are okay. You can, if, you're, if your legs start to pick up from the, the hips, I don't mind that at all. I mean, do what you like. Uh, it, it's up to you, whatever, however you feel that like you're going to do it better. Now, um, the other, there's a variation I wanted to show you now. There's a couple of things we're going to do. We do these side pushes and sa di da, a di da da, and a di da da. They're very, very simple to do. Now, the other thing I want to show you is a variation that's been sort of brought in from tap dancing, really. So we call it the sunshine step. Or I always do, anyway. And it goes like this. Now, we're going to introduce this into our little Charleston. So it goes with the left foot. I'm going to go, we can do both. Both boys and girls are going to do the same thing, because we're, we're dancing this side by side. So I'm going to go, I swing the leg like this. So it goes here, there. See that? I go swing back. And as I put it down, I let the other one go. So I go one, two, back, step, forward, and forward. So it goes yum, yum, a ya, da, di, da, da. Now, if you were doing this as a, as a tap dancer, you go and you do a little pick up. You do, sorry, on the other foot. You go and uh, pick up, pick up, a shut, full. Full change. So we're going to take that out, the, the, uh, the, sh the shuffle and the ball changes. But when we go and do our tap dancing uh, numbers, uh, we start doing uh, with a bit more tap, we'll introduce the tap into that as well, because this, this is a great little step. I love this little step. So we're going to go, because the arms go here and as well at the same time, if you so choose. You can do a figure of eight. I was using this variation, in actual fact, in the tour I, I, we finished at the beginning of the year, Erin and I, Dance those magical movies, absolutely marvellous. And if I just say to myself, but we, you, we were using this variation uh, in, the, uh, in one of the numbers. And we had a, a big figure of eight arm. Of course, I, my arms are, I thought, I was like a semaphore, like, like landing a plane, I think. I didn't quite get it. Well, I like this. Here, like this. So we won't do that for a second, we'll just concentrate on the legs. Swing, swing, a back, replace, uh, shuffle, ball, change. Don't call it shuffle change, just a little forward and forward. A little skip really. Ya di da. Just do that. Ya di da. It's like a little push. Ya da da. And when we start to dance it, we will actually. Ya da da. Push away. <laughs> and a one and two. Why not? So we go. A one, two, a back replace. Ya di da. Alright? One more time. One, two, a back replace ya di da. Now, if we add this onto something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, yum, yum, a ya di da di da. Get a little routine going, you see? Just separately, yeah. One, two, a ya da ya bi ba. <laughs> That's actually the technical name for it all. Yum bi ba. Nice. Swish. Swish, back, replace, yum, bi bum. <laughs> swish, swish, yum, bum, rum, bi dum. <laughs> rum, bi bum. Beautiful. All right, now, one more thing at the end of that. So once we've gone, ya, di, da, we're going to do a little thing called, again, this is another sort of tap dancing stroke, sort of Lindy style step. It's called a Susie Q. But we're not going to do it Susie Q. Susie Q goes this way where we swish across. We can do. Actually, I'll tell you what to do. Do four one way, four the other. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. Oh, lovely, swivels. All right, let's do that. So I was only gonna do this, just tapping on the floor. Do this as another option as well. So we go a one, two, three, four. Very simple. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, now this is the other Suzy Q version. You do four one one for the other. So you go one place, two place, three place, four place, and on that last one you go straight rather than place. You go straight across. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get the idea? Should we do it one more time? Those two little variations. We're doing quite a lot now, aren't we? I know, we've, we've cracked on. I can barely contain myself, that's what it is. We're gonna do the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good for the center. Now the foot goes. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. A yum, yum, a ya, da, yum, ba, bom. <laughs> one, two, three, four. All right, so you see how these things build. So we've talked about in the past our vocabulary of steps. Well, the first time I said that, I went, <laughs> that sounded rather, rather swish. Oh, I've grown into it now, I rather like it. But that's essentially what we're doing. We're building the sort of, our, 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 our language. But these are all the words and we're going to put them together in sentences. And it's marvellous because you can suddenly see, you learn a few steps, you put them together, you go, oh, I got myself a little thing there. It's rather exciting. So that's the joy of it all really. So should we just go over it one more time? How we do? Actually, before we go here, let's have a little see who's asking any questions. Now, uh, Amy, I'm so much better at Latin. I'm sure you're an all round talent. Uh, oh, Michelle, thank you very much, Fabulous on Tour. I love you. Thank, thank you very much for coming along. Um, just stubbed my toes, swish, swish. <laughs> you have to move the furniture, my love. Roll up the rug, where you go. Oh, Michelle, you can do this. I don't believe you say you can't do this. You've got no feet, cold nation. Do this, look. There you are. If you can do that, you can do it all. Six, seven, and a one. Two, three, four. You pop the shoulder, you see? Five, seven, eight. Oh, now we're starting to go. Oh, yes. Now, um, oh, can't believe it. Mumsy Games, the asthma's gone bad. Disaster. I'm sorry about that. You just come, you just take yourself off and have a lie down in a dark room. Let's do the Lindy Hop, says Leslie. Let's save it for another day. Well, Mum, I hope you're feeling better. Hannah, my wife, gets terrible hay fever, debilitating hay fever, absolute disaster. So anybody who's got hay fever is not suffering too badly at the moment. Um, uh, Anna, well, I've, I've been doing it for a while. That's why I make it look easy, you see. First five years are the hardest. Um, I'm loving this conference chat stuff. I tell you, it makes my, absolutely makes my day. So let's just go over it one more time. You ready? So to swivel, we're just gonna go swivel, 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 swivel. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Who is it? It doesn't have feet coordination. Was that Michelle? Just do this. Just get this going. All right? One, six, seven, eight. Good. Now this is the second bit. Step, tap, step, tap, ba da, be, tap, bum, ba, ba da, step, tap, step, tap. Now add the two together. One, two, three, four, and a feet, fa, ba, feet, fa, da, di, da, di, da. All right? In, out, 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 in, out. Sunshine. One, two, a back replace, yonk, be bomb. Sunshine, sunshine, back replace, yonk, be bomb. Nice. And this Susie Q thing is really just a six, a seven, eight, a one, two, Five, six, seven, eight, and one across. A one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four. Nice! That was quite a lot. We're only going to do swivels today. I can't help myself, I get excited. Thank you very much indeed. Well done, all. It's lovely to chat. 
Lovely chat, and I love that. Well, I keep saying it, I love it. So thank you very much indeed. Um, oh, we're going to down here. I, oh, well, I'm going to get rid of that. No, oh, marvellous. Uh, I'm just boring the rest of learning foreign language. Oh, uh, Elizabeth Garrett, uh, marvellous. Yes, it is a foreign language. Uh, <laughs> Frankie, the flowers, I had to move the flowers, but I'm going to get them back for later on if you join us at three o'clock. Now, much love, everybody. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Hope you enjoyed the class. Charleston, marvellous. Don't forget the weekend on Saturday. We'll do our, um, we'll do our uh, what do we call it? We do our uh, going it over it all. I can't remember what we call it now. What do we call it? Recap. That's it. We're going to do our recap on Saturday. So we'll come over, over this again. Uh, thank you very much. Stay safe. Stay well. Nice day today. Go out in the garden if you can. And um, if you fancy it, I'll see you at three o'clock. And we'll do a couple of bits and a few push-ups and... And people have been telling me that they've been losing a pound or two, which is tremendous. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much. See you a bit later. Much love.